Hello and welcome back to Prison Architect. So, I finally figured out um, what the hell was going wrong with this thing. By phone booths, it actually means writing desk. Because if you actually hover over the item and have a little read of it, the writing desk, uh, where are you? Um, these handy desks let POWs write letters to their families even though they will never get to the, ma the, ne the mail will never get to them. Um, it makes them feel a little bit closer to home. So basically these guys are just using the, uh, the Germans are using the desks to spy on them. So they're writing letters back to families with like any information and stuff that might be useful. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, we've done that quest now. Completed. Um, so now we've just got to do prison of war camp maintenance, which should be good. And a bunch of other stuff. And we should probably turn on, oh, we've got prisoner intake on. Sweet. So in eight hours, we'll fill up the rest of our prison. Um, and hopefully things will go right. But then we'll have some more money to get some more guards and do some extra stuff. All kinds of cool shit. So, yeah, things aren't going too badly. Um, our power things... Ah, oh, power's sorted. Look at that. Not a problem. They're drilling on all the desks. Okay, sure. Um, wicked. So that should decrease danger levels. Uh, four of them have... Oh, God, okay, that's not good. Right, so let's go to some more quests and see what we can do to help these people be less miserable. Um, so, grants. What do we want to do? So, got camp maintenance. Um... Security procedure certification. Um, ten, so a common pitfall of new pr uh, prisons are security lapses due to inexperience of the personnel within the facility. Um, ensure we have no early mishaps that might hurt the record of the future by increasing security to an acceptable level. So hire an obstruent. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Um, hire 10 officers, unlock patrols, and assign three officers to patrol routes. Okay, well, we can do that one pretty quick. And um, we've got most of that stuff actually done, but we do need a. Um, oh, we've already got him. Oh, okay. Uh, where is he? Oh, here he is. Obstub. Oh, how the hell do you say that? Oberst Lieutenant. Oh, oh, Lieutenant. Oberst Lieutenant. I can't. I've, I've, my German is awful. Um, <laughs> I can't say any of the words correctly. So, we've got that going, which is good. Uh, so, we need ten. We need three more officers. So, once we actually get the more money, uh, then we can assign some more patrol routes and stuff. So, that's a piece of pee. So, that's an extra ten grand for doing nothing. The grant completed. Um, groundskeeping as well for next. Sweet, so let's just speed up till day till we get the new prisoners and then we should have enough cash to hire a couple more guards, which would be quite nice actually. Um, will we going to need any more chefs? Probably not, but cleaning is definitely something we want to get going because look how dirty this place is now. It's fucking filthy. Look at it. Look at it. It's just, a, it's just an absolute... Ugh, just dirt everywhere. Oh, this room's not even been used, is it? That's, that's just like a dead hut now. I might turn that into another, uh, oh, but they need to be 10 by 10. This is 9 by 9, I think. Yeah. Bugger. I should probably put a double door on this as well, so it's actually symmetrical, but I haven't actually done that, so it's sort of off-centered. Oh, look, danger's going down. Somehow. Okay, cool. That's good. To oh, God. Oh, I've done a good there. Look at that. Hell yeah. So they got a com room they can go to in their free time. Right. The prisoners are arriving one hour. Sweet. Okay. Oh, look, danger level's low. Oh, we're bossing this up. If we get a few more guards, it should drop down to nothing. Sweet. So that means, right, I think today I'm going to do, um, get get the new prisoners in, and then I reckon we need to hire the gardens and stuff, and maybe make a few more bunk houses, or maybe make a mega bunk house. Um, although I kind of like the idea of having lots of 10 by 10 bunk houses in a row. I think it would, I think, I think I'm going to do this. I've got to fit the theme of the game, really, and not just, like, half arse and just make one massive cell block like I would in regular prison of prison architects. The only problem with getting too many people in is my canteen might not have to keep up, but we'll come to that when we come to that, uh, if we have a problem with it. But we should be okay, I reckon. I don't think there'd be too much of a problem. Um, are the prisoners here yet? 24 minutes! Come on, blitz to it. 20 minutes? Oh god, this is crazy. So they do nothing in the morning. Why do they do nothing? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's pause it quickly. Um, regime, why do they do nothing? There should be shower time here. So they have more showering time. No, not there. Uh, sleep time, shower time, there we go. I was just going to mill around doing fuck all. Okay, cool. Right, so these guys... Oh god, danger level is increasing again. I think once they got into their cells and stuff, it should be fine. Oh, oh, some visitors. Piddock's daughter, Piddock's father. And we've got the new pal. So I'm guessing these guys' danger level is increasing because they've only just got here. They obviously don't want to be here. I'll have a read at uh, some of their stuff in a minute. Um... Private Piddock. Wait, hang on. So Piddock's only just got here and he's already got visitation. He's one lucky son of a bitch. Look at that. His ex-wife, <laughs> um, his daughter, and his father. Um, realistic, this wouldn't be a real thing, obviously, but that's not too bad. Right, okay, cool. Oh, I need to unlock groundskeeping as well while I'm doing, remember, it, uh, bureaucracy. 
groundskeeping. Um, there we go. Two grand. We need a director. I think we've got a director, don't we? Is the director just the... Uh... Oh, I know. Oh, no, we do have a director. Yeah, I got one. I forgot about that. Cool. So, the shower time. I should probably get more guard patrols and stuff, but whatever. Um, if I put windows on this, I think the guards will be able to see in as well, but I might just put CCTV in there at some point. Uh, lovely stuff. So, they're all getting taken to their cells. Let's so see where they get put. They should get put in their cells, because there's nowhere else for them to go. And um, we've now got maximum capacity. And I actually need to turn off prisoner intake just for now. In case... I might go up for... I'm tempted to go for a high sec. But we'll see. So we need three more guards as well. So we might as well get that to complete that. Three more officers. There we go. And then that's that one ticked off. So then we need to just assign two more to patrol routes. I can do that easy enough. Right, once they're all put in their cells, I'll, I'll do that. So we got Bray. He's a new guy. Sentenced to 21 years for multiple crimes, including arson and arson. <laughs> um, so you've got a family. In okay, case so that's a fairly sad one. So Sergeant Bray. Uh, who's the other new guys coming in now? Have they got them all yet? Oh no, they're getting one by one. So this is the next guy, Adrian Skeleton Schweizer. Schweinzer. Schweinzer. Schweinzer? I, I'm so bad at saying this. Um, Adrian's conv convinced everyone um, besides himself he is an alien. Uh, he got charged with homicide when he tried to open his friend with a tomato knife to prove that he's an alien monster from Neptune. Unfortunately for him, no monster was inside. Oh god. <laughs> um, sentenced to 12 years for multiple crimes, including death by dangerous driving, death by dangerous driving, and death by dangerous driving. Okay, so he thinks he's an alien. Okay, well, he's probably going to be dangerous to the other prison inmates, isn't he? Oh god, right, who's the other guy? So let's pause it so I can see them all. Um, oh, so don't forget, sh uh, Mark, oh no, he's a free guy. Private J, sentenced to 23 years for multiple crimes, including aggravated burglary and burglary. Um, Piddock, he's got the one with the family, um, already, coming to see him, fucking hell. Sentenced to 11 years for trafficking, oh god. Uh, there's an officer, Brad Dixon, oh yeah, I've, I've already got the Brad Dixon, Stumpy Dixon, <laughs> cutting off his own leg. Um, because he thought it was a zombie horde, I remember that, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so yeah, Adrian Skeleton Schweizner, so he thinks he's an alien. Weird, okay, cool, so we've got some right nut jobs in this prison now, sweet. Um, <laughs> that's good to know. So, right, everyone's inside, so if I put three more patrol routes down, it's an extra 10 grand. We've got so much money, this is ridiculous. How did I do so badly in my first playthrough? I just had no idea what I was doing, I guess. Right, so deployment. So we've actually got, apparently we've got one guy on a patrol route, but I can't see that patrol route. So, oh, guard patrols. Let's just get three guys on that. That'll do. That's perfect, cool. And then... Ding! We should get 10 grand. Oh, we got 10 grand. Sweet. God, we're, we're raking in the peas. Look at this stuff. So it's yard time now. I should probably get some stuff in the yard or make a decent yard, but... Uh, let's get another quest going, because we might as well. Um, so we want to get this one done. So groundskeeper and then hire at least two janitors and a gardener. Um, I think I can hire some of them now, actually. Uh, janitor. Ah, okay. I can. And I need groundskeeper. So two janitors. Whoop. So that means they'll clean shit up. And a gardener to tidy and make maintain the fences, I guess. That's probably very important. Right, so next I want to go to reports and grants. Uh, what can I do? The third rack security ratings. Oh god, okay. Um, the fatherland has certain requirements regarding security for prisons over a certain size and applies hefty fines to those that come up short. Ensure this doesn't become a problem. Assign two dog handlers and assign two soldatren to a patrol. Mm, that sounds like it could be fun. Um... So that's like armed soldiers and dog handlers. Okay, we can probably do that actually. And then we can start work on like map. Or we can do bunkhouse B. Raise your prisoner's capacity to 50. I think we might want to get third rank security first and then get bunkhouse B afterwards because otherwise we may be having a bit of an issue. Oh, can we do this? Um, build a staff room. Have at least five officers without assigned duties. Ensure none of your personnel are exhausted. I think that's instant completed. It is. <laughs> In okay, fair enough. Um, right, third rock security now, we'll do this one. Cool. So that's that sort of, so we need to get, unlock, uh, to assign two dog handlers and assign two soldatron. So we actually need to unlock dog handlers first, so we need to go to bureaucracy, and, um, dogs. And we also need armory. So they're researched by security guy, so they can be researched at the same time. Cool! So we can get a doghouse. Now, uh, what do we need for a doghouse? We actually probably check out the room. Uh, prison danger's going up. Mm, I don't really know 
what we can do about this. I mean, there's lots of people not on patrol. We've got, we've got four, oh, four guys not on patrol. Everyone's in here chilling out. I don't think it's too much of a problem at the moment. Um, hmm. Why is danger going up? It shouldn't be too much. Um, well, once we get more guards, it should drop down again. Aha, so we now need to hire a gardener. And then we've got that one completed. Uh, personnel, a gardener. Clean shit up. There we go, sweet. Um, so that should, ho he should hopefully maintain the fences and such. These guys should clean the insides and everything. Right. So, next step would be to, well they're doing the dog, so yeah, I want to look up how to make a room for a dog. Uh, do I actually need a room or do I just need a, um, I don't know, I do I need a kennel. So it needs to be 5x5, five five, uh, enclosed by walls and doors and have a dog crate. So I could just make a kennel slash armory all together and an armory needs, um, Indoors, a weapon rack, a solid dance locker, and a table. Okay, so we could probably get them all in the same building, I would assume. That would probably be wise. So, I'm trying to think where best to place them. I kind of want it up this side of the prison. Maybe I don't know why I left a three gap there, to be honest. I probably shouldn't have. But then again, there might, I might have like a big line of stuff going up here. I don't really know um, how I'm going to lay the prison out yet. So there's going to be a gap. Oh, I'm not really sure. Hmm, a forestry, a room. Uh, so I could get people to forest stuff. Hmm, that'd be if I set them to work, wouldn't it? So I could get them to clear the forests. Apparently, does that make... Oh, God, my prison's dangerous level is medium. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> right, definitely want this stuff done. So, right, let's build a new building then. Foundations. We'll, we'll have one building for the kennels, and then I can always make another one for the armory. Because I know you need a weapon locker per, like, guard. So um, that's probably wise to do that. Let's get two up here, like that, and let me get doors on them, so they don't shut, so we want personnel doors really, there we go. So one can be a um, uh, for the dogs, and one can be for the guards, so I can just spam it full of guard lockers, because when you decide to arm all your people, to give them all guns and stuff, um, they take they need a weapon locker each. Well, this yard is pretty small, isn't it? What can I, can I put anything in the yard? I can put a weights bench and stuff, but... Um... Hmm... I mean, they've, when they've got free time... Hang on, let's check my regime, see if I can help this a bit. So we've got free time, yard time... They've got quite a lot of free time. So I think it's... Uh, oh, uh, yard time... Uh, food time. And then yard time, and then free time. Okay, yeah, so they get to... Well, they got, they've got enough free time and stuff to do things, right. So, building that shit up, um, I've got 489 bucks a day, so I probably do need to get some more prisoners in at some point. Maybe I should start preemptively building the bunk houses. Do you reckon that's a good idea? Um, I probably should build a few more bunk houses, to be honest, so that just, just so I'm ready. So the quest's already done when it's there. Oh look, danger's going down now, they're eating. I, I think they're just hungry. Are they eating? No, it's free time. I oh, just wanted free time. Okay, right, that's a good point. Okay, let's pause it then. Or not pause it. Let's get rid of some yard time. And change it to free time here, and they don't like to be yard time too much. So, oh, I, I erased into. Oh, I didn't erase into eating time. Cool. So that's good. Um, is this the gardener? He's doing his shit. Oh, they built those pretty quick. Lovely. So right, yeah, let's build a few more bunk houses so that we can increase capacity if I want some more dough. Um, so I might as well. It will give me stuff doing at the same time. So let's do uh, ten by ten. And a 10 by 10. And a 10 by... Oh, that's going to touch the wall. Okay, I can't have one there. Cancel that one. I need to increase my fence a bit. But that's another 2. So that's another 16 people I can have. Although to make a prison capacity of 50, I'm going to need a lot of bunk houses. So I'm going to have to move this yard. Alright, let's get some doors on it. I've got the money just to spam these through. So I'm going to have... This I'm going to get uh, symmetrical. So I'm going to have a large jail door. So it's actually symmetrical. Perfecto. Um, and let's get some more... Uh, bunk houses. Right, let's get rid of this yard. Uh, just erase it. Pause it for a second so I can put a new one down in a minute. Right, let's get some more bunk houses. So, a 10 by 10. Oh, this looks good, doesn't it? Uh, should we have a gap here so that... Oh, okay, yeah, because it's going to block off the patrol, isn't it? So let's have a 10 by 10 here. And a 10 by 10 here. So we want gaps so people can sort of walk down in between them and stuff the patrol properly. That's looking good. That's another five bunk houses. That's pretty good. Okay, right. Objects, uh, large jail doors. This is expensive, but I've got plenty of money. I've got a hundred grand. This is crazy stuff. 
Oh, I can't put that there. I guess it got demolished the trees first, I'd imagine. Okay, right. So let's put... Oh, we need to put a new yard down as well. Yard, 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 yard. Oh, I'm not going to find it. <laughs> oh, there we go, yard. So let's put that for now mm, down in this corner, out of the way. Okay. Sweet. And they've got a lot of shit to build. So I can't seem to put a door on this one. Okay, they've got to dismantle the tree first. That's a lot of work to be done. Oh god, and all the cabling and shit. I totally forgot about that. Okay, right. There's a lot of power lines to be laid as well. So put all them through there like this. We're going to need power cables coming down here. And through all of the buildings like this and this. And this and this. Oh god, this is nuts. Okay, that's pretty good though. I think this is looking decent. Sweet. Right, so we're getting... So obviously, also, before I think we get um, increase our prison capacity too much, I want to have actual walls around the outside um, in case of riots and such because I'd, that'd be bad if they got out. Um, especially as they're this close to the thing. Furthermore, I'd like to buy some more land because we're actually filling this up really quickly. So I know there's grants for more land. So I might have to check that out, actually. Oh, we've done the quest for that. Right, let's just try... We can get another quest on quickly. I might as well. So, um, actually, I'll get that playing so they can build. So, grants. I want to do the one that gives me more land. Uh, I don't know how you do that. It's got to be one of these. Four more hidden. Hmm. Peer war nutritional. Tool cleanup. Security infrastructure. Um, oh, God. I heard something there. Right, so is it short term and long term investment easy enough? Bunkhouse B. Uh, Geneva Convention Inspection. So build a medical ward. Mm. Let's see short term investment, because that one's a pretty easy one to do. And we can do the third right thing in the meantime. Oh, oh, somebody had some contraband. Get it back to your cell, my fucking scum. God, it's quite loud in there, isn't it? Jesus. <laughs> um, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. So how are these buildings going? They need to. Oh, they're doing quite a lot, aren't they? There's a, a lot of manual labour to be done. But this is so. This is going to be each one holds one, two, three, four, five, six, six, eight. Yeah, eight is eight. So, uh, oh god, they found knives and stuff. God, these sons of bitches. Look at that. Fuck. Fucking these sons. Of, the danger is going down there. They get them catch straight away. Thank God for that thing. Um, alrighty. So then, so 16, 32. Uh, uh, 48, I think. 32 plus 10. Yeah, 48. Add another 8 is 56. We can have 56. Oh, this is actually enough to get the, the next quest done before we even started it. So that's pretty good. So if we actually build these properly, that's 56 um, inmates we can have. That's a lot of inmates for a small area. We'd have to definitely expand and get walls, I think, before I let that many people in. Um, definitely. And this power plant might not be enough either. We might need another one. But luckily we've got a crap load of money. Now there is a way. Let's look in bureaucracy. There is a way to expand land. Um, land expansion. There we go. I still get my accountant on that shit. So I can get some more land. That'd be good. Now let me just read it quickly. Um, Offer you to purchase neighbouring plots of land and thereby expand the size of your camp beyond its initial bounds. Sounds good to me. Um, cool. That sounds perfect. So then we can actually like get some more space because we're going to run out soon. And this staff box is going to be increasing in size eventually as well. It's decent enough for now. I actually know we can probably get quite a lot more rooms in this section here, which I haven't actually built upon yet. But look how clean it is in there. Look how clean it is. And everyone's well rested and stuff. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, um, danger level's low. Oh, I'm doing this actually decently this time. Holy crap. Right, one's down. One's built. Um, let's get a couple of beds in it. Right, objects. Uh, oh, actually, let's, let's set them up as rooms first. So... Um, bunk houses, there we go. In fact, let's set them all up as rooms. Lovely. Oh, I, apparently I can't. Because there's nothing... No, actually, oh, there's trees and stuff in the way. Oh, God, so they've got to cut all that crap down. Oh, God, they are actually logging them, aren't they? <laughs> okay, cool. Well, um, I think I'll leave it here today because they've got quite a bit of logging to do. And I'll come back next episode where we should get some dogs and stuff and... Maybe boost our population uh, lots of, and expand our camp. We're, we're progressing really quickly compared to last season, which is good. It means we'll be able to get a lot more done in a lot faster time. And the prison looks kind of cooler like this. I'm just awaiting the first riot, though, because it's going to happen. I'm gonna, I might risk high-sec prisoners. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. 
Um, tell me what you think in the comments if I should risk a couple of high secs and maybe give them their own bunkhouse uh, under deployment. So you can have like high sec only for Soviets uh, in like a bunkhouse of their own. Um, but we shall see. Uh, for now, thanks for watching and bye bye.